Yes, beautiful people, we are back with Boy Usema, DJ Sava, two British nerds, very short, sweet and simple, just like me. Yesterday I made 24 TikTok videos, check them out, all 24 of them now. So Instagram highlights is a cool, dope, amazing feature, just like my beautiful Gemini face. So Instagram highlights basically allows you to capture those amazing moments that you capture every single second on your Instagram stories. Let's have an example, you take a beautiful selfie. Uh, with an artist, celebrity, you're out of your friends, a wedding, whatever it might be. Before the Instagram highlight feature was available, they would delete within 24 hours. So now what you can do is, is take that beautiful moment from your stories and put it onto your highlights. So when people actually go to your account, they will see your highlights and they'll click on it. And this way they'll know who you are, what you're about. It gives people a very cool snapshot of who you are, what you do and what kind of services that you actually provide. So make sure your Instagram highlights are on point. That's my highlights. All you gotta to do to create your base of your highlights is click this tab here. You select the, the snaps that you want, add it to your highlights. I love coming here because there's always people doing their hustling and grinding. Check it out. Really enjoy that the hustling the grinding the music the talent the love these people on the streets are dope just like me myself and of course I Woo. Ah, found them so these are the comics that I copped this Wednesday the review will be up for these um, tomorrow first of all we have this familiar spider-man making his appearance in this issue zero of Marvel's up and coming spider event cannot wait we also have Venom issue six, which was an amazing, gritty, dope, savage read. And the last one we have is the amazing Spider-Man issue six, which was a dope, dope read. And of course we have this very cool, dope hip hop variant of Spider-Man paying homage to the man himself, Tupac. Rap boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, like I just watched Infinity War. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not, I'm not ever gonna say any details about the movie, but it is an amazingly well done movie. Hope every single person literally watches it. I love every single second of it. And I can't wait to see uh, part two of the movie. The Russo brothers, I salute you. Kevin Feige, I salute you. Marvel. Disney, like I salute you and all the actors and actresses, man, amazing, like amazing movie, loved it. So today's journey is literally going to be me and you in Hyde Park, let's go. Yo people, what's up? So what I love about Hyde Park is it's cool, fun, dope. Everyone's out and having fun. Uh, like, check it out. Right, first of all, why am I in this position? Because I like it. Secondly, I'm happy to be out shooting some really cool Instagram stories. It's a nice, cool evening in, of course, uh, London. I'm enjoying the scenery and just having 
F-U-N. F-U-N spells fun. Check out these cool lights though. Check them out. This street and these lights are so cool, man. Like, I love them. They look so, so cool. Look at it. So cool. Such a beautiful street. Let's play some games. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I mean, look at the lights. This actually would make a very cool selfie. Just so you know, I have taken a selfie. I found something more cooler than the Piccadilly Circus screen. Check her out. Now, this is what you call professional Oh, I have to respect the hustle and the grind on this, man. Look at this. Wasn't that cool? Some really cool stuff that tends to pop off during the night time around here. So we have like these guys who just draw people on the street. It's just so cool. Look at that. This is cool, like it's just straight up artwork. Yo, what's up people? How's it one day once again? Let me just angle this. Here we go, here we go. So literally I'm just chilling outside. I'm excited to be literally in this cool spot that I found a few weeks back. It's calm, cool, amazing, just like me. So you can see it's calm, it's cool, there's chairs, greenery, and literally chairs where you can just chill. Like I seriously love this, like I love this entrance, it's so cool, so amazing. We even have water up in here, look at that. So cool, really, really, really nice. I always get asked this question, yo man, like how many comic books do you have? Where do you keep them? I mean, seriously, this is so cool. Ready? Go. Speaking about comic books, yesterday was new comic book day. This is what I caught. One of the most recommended image books ever. Saga, dope, amazing. It's sexual, it's violent, it's raw, it's humorous, it's romantic. And the next one, which I haven't read yet, is Doctor Strange, uh, Dalmatian, Tarmation. This is, a, this is part of a five mini issue series. This is issue four. Really cool, dope, raw. This book, this book, this book I've been waiting for this book to arrive for a very long time hey, am I so gassed about this book well yo so we are back so I actually won this book in a Gary V competition but wait there's like more yep so I actually got this signed uh, when I met Gary V in Shoreditch the dopest thing is about these two books is basically this so check this out. My name there, love there, Gary V there, what? Crushing it. Gary V's book signature here and Tyler's signature right over here. You want more? There's no more. You guys are still here? Go. I mean, you'd think they'd give me a break, right? I do IG stories every single day. people so I'm literally at Whole Foods about to cop two of these first I need to bin this so let's go right so now we're gonna go back to uh, the Whole Foods and uh, literally uh, get two bottles of uh, just water right people I'm back shout out to Whole Foods 
Um, I've got two bottles, man. Check it out. So as you can see, I've got two bottles. One for me and one for my annoying Capricorn sister. But seriously, the water is dope. I recommend everyone to get it. You can cop it at Boots and obviously you can cop it literally at Whole Foods behind me. Breaking news, and it wasn't even surprising breaking news. DC have announced they're going to be doing a Supergirl movie. I mean, come on. Why would you do a Supergirl movie? Like, it makes no logical sense. The first movie didn't do, it was terrible, which is why there was never, there was never a, a sequel to that movie. So my question to you boys and girls, do, do you want to see a Supergirl movie? Let me know. If I had it my way, I would use the Infinity Time Gem, Time Gem to go back in time and just to re and reset the whole bloody DC Cinematic Universe and make it good. Seriously, everyone is getting a movie. Why is everyone getting a movie? Why? Why? I haven't even seen a Justice League 2. I haven't even seen a, a Man of Steel 2 and you're giving me a Supergirl movie? I mean, that's it. Like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with DC movies. I'm done. Pow, 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 pow. Sup? You might be thinking, why am I throwing fists in the air? Particularly an iron fist. Well, it's quite simple. Today, today, Marvel have released Iron Fist Season 2. I'm so pumped for Iron Fist Season 2. I just literally just want to snap a couple of fingers or you know reverse time or i don't know bring loki back to life i don't know do you guys want loki back to life are you an iron fist fan are you currently watching iron fist as you listen to my beautiful german i love african iron fist wolverine adamantium claw face thing are you let me know who is your favorite defender And I'm back. Apologies for the poor sound quality. I literally left uh, a battery for my uh, audio recorder at home. So right now I'm literally using the audio from the camera, which is a bit not great. But that being said, let's check out how construction is doing on Big Ben. almost there people and we are back so that is big ben still on the construction what's up people what's up how's everyone doing really loving this infinity gauntlet because i can do stuff like this and really have fun with it uh, 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 uh. up middle finger i show them really loving the infinity gauntlet cool dope amazing retails at 100 pounds is available to order right now on forbidden planet um, dot com if you want to order yours swipe up now and cop yours gets released officially june the 20th but overall i'm really pumped i'm really excited to have some marvel um licensed dope collectibles apart from the infinity gauntlet i have the guardians of the galaxy volume one and volume two cassette tape and i have guardians of the galaxy the cosmic mix which is taken from the guardians of the galaxy um cartoon but this thing is a beast. I mean, it, it's heavy, it's dope, it's amazing, it makes noises. <laughs> Yo, people, what's up? It's your boy Osema, chilling like a North African Algerian villain.
these are the Marvel Masterworks, basically, which give you the origin, the actual first origin of all your favorite superhero characters. So when you read this, for example, Doctor Stephen Strange, Doctor Strange, I'm a big Doctor Strange fan, you will understand why they did certain things in Doctor Strange or why, as you can see, these beautiful colors here, illustrated by uh, Steve Dicto, is the colors they used on the CGI while you was watching Doctor Strange. So all those acid, crazy mind trip, CGI's and just crazy stuff you will see regarding the colors all spawned from this comic book all there we go deeper all spawned from his creative mind RIP love his work any of your Marvel superheroes that you love pick up the Marvel masterworks they are the ones to get so question who is your favorite female or favorite male superhero and why the reason you saw that clip of those people on the streets grinding, hustling, doing what they love to do is because I wanted to show you guys what it means, what it means when you actually do what you love to do. You go on your knees, you will grind, you will hustle. You don't care about the weather, you don't care about the atmosphere, you don't care who's around you, you keep grafting, doing what you love to do until you make your dreams literally manifest into reality and of course Right people, we are back in the Waterloo Tunnel, which is in Leak Street. Check out the new dope graffiti art. Yo. Yo, people, what's up? Literally, check out this nice, cool, beautiful neon lights behind me. Like, look at it. Woo! Do you guys think it's dope or not, man? So cool, look at it. You know what, I really, really enjoy going into that Waterloo Tunnel in Leak Street. It's calm, amazing, and there's always new, new, new dope art to be seen. So I purchased this comic book uh, a week ago. It's a variant of basically X-Men Gold issue 30, The Wedding of Colossus and Kitty Pride. And I've never opened it, so um, let's uh, open it and see like what cool variant is in here. Let's do it. <coughs> Sorry, my bad. Kitty Pride and Gambit. Hold up, is that Kitty Pride? That is not Kitty Pride. That's Rogue. This is a dope variant of, um, of course, Rogue and Gambit of issue 30 of X Men Gold, called Dope Variant by the man himself, J. Scott Campbell. So, question of the day, evening, night, morning, day, whatever time zone you're at. What did you think of today's new Instagram stories? Feel free to just, you know, just leave your comments here. Right, people, what's up? Two British nerds here. Literally just came to do some shots in the Waterloo graffiti tunnel and I came across this cool Vietnamese um, restaurant. I mean, we have currency that's on the walls here. Look at that. When he showed me this, I was like, this is hilarious. So you've got the, obviously the, the, the toilet right here and you have these very, very cool um, <laughs> photos. So that's the bar over there. The seats here are very, very cool. I'm so feeling these lights. These lights are amazing. I love color. What's up, people? What's up? And we're back. DJ, hit that music. Pow!
and you're thinking, how and why did you make 24 TikTok videos? Very, very simple. When I was fasting in the holy month of Ramadan, which recently just went past, um, I was tired, I had low energy because I was fasting, I couldn't commit to creating content. So I was creating short bursts of content on TikTok and Instagram, and I did. I did no YouTube content because I was just so out of it. So when I came out of it, basically, I created 24 TikTok videos to make up for the time I was off TikTok. You're thinking, but how did you make 24 TikTok videos? Very, very, very easy, simple, and easy to digest. So I basically utilized um, Gary V's content model, and you can check it down right here on the, the description to this video, right here in the a YouTube description box. I basically create Instagram stories on my camera and I've created basically up to 86 Instagram stories that were created on my camera. And I pretty much, what I did was um, yesterday, I opened up my hard drive and I looked and I went through about 40 of my Instagram stories. I picked the best moments basically from them stories and actually snipped all of them up into 60 second clips, which added up to 24 TikTok. Um, videos and the reason they were different videos like you know they were comic book related or me on the streets me at home because I like to try new things out and I like to incorporate my whole persona and what I love to do uh, for the beautiful people out there so that's how I created my 24 TikTok videos now how you can do it it's very 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 simple all you would do is for example let's say you shoot a five to ten minute let's say you shoot a ten minute vlog or a ten minute video however long it is right and let's say in that video, there was four dope moments or more of you speaking about, for example, comic books. You interviewed somebody. Um, you saw something on the streets that was way dope. And what you would do, you would snip that out of the vlog or the video. And basically, let's say you wanted it, you wanted, you wanted it to have, you wanted it, sorry, to be on the main Instagram feed. So you would have 60 second clips. So let's say two, six, two 60 second clips for your main Instagram feed. And the rest, you could snip it up in accordingly to having long, long form content on IGTV. So already there you've got two for the main feed and let's say another two basically for IGTV. Now, take it another step. You can take the whole, the whole um, let's, say, let's say it was an interview, right? Let's say it was an interview that was 10 minutes long. What you could do was you could upload the whole interview to YouTube. You could also, as you're editing the video, you could remove, you could remove the sound from there put an intro and outro and that's pretty much a podcast you can take a screenshot pow caption it and that will be a meme um, a motivational quote whatever it might be for linkedin for facebook for of course for instagram you can slice it up to 15 second um clips and have that for IG, uh, igtv for your instagram stories for tiktok for of course snapchat and all of the other platforms so it's quite simple you have your pillar content and from there basically you create as much micro content as you can and i've been doing that since basically gary v pretty much brought out the content model um because it makes my life very easy because i'm you know everything that i do I do it by myself. I create my own content. I manage my own social media platforms. I do my own branding. I do everything by myself. There's no one that helps me with any of this, which is why sometimes I get overwhelmed with not producing enough content on a daily basis for these for these platforms. So the Gary Vee content model has really helped me basically in, in creating micro content and has saved me so much time. Like there's times where I can create, I can have to, I can have literally, I can have up to like 10 IGTV videos a day if I wanted to because I have so much content like this video right here I can snip this up basically for all of the platforms and people will like it so that's how I create micro content I'm, I'm very happy that I create 24 TikTok videos basically because I love it I created 24 TikTok videos and it was dope it just shows you the level of my creativity by utilizing one method, which, which is very, very simple. One long form of content being your pillar content and power from there, you can create as much content as you possibly can. So you can create from there a podcast. Um, you can create basically all forms of content for all your social media platforms just by using one pillar content. So I love it, it's cool, it's dope, it's fun. And I'm just happy and I want to share that with you. That's how I made 24 TikTok videos. That's how you can make up to 30 pieces of content or more regarding who you are, what you are, if you're a brand, business, freelancer, contractor, if you're someone that does project work, if you're a YouTuber, if you create um, Instagram stories, if whatever your passion is and living, and that's how you would utilize that method in creating as much content as you can on, of course, on a daily um, basis. With that being said, peeps, um, I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow. Oh, one thing, um, I'm going to have a playlist entitled on my YouTube channel 
called the metaphysics of superheroes, where I break down basically the metaphysics of um, the the superpowers from the superheroes and relate it basically to you. Very easy to understand and digest. The first one I've done, I posted about two days ago, was the metaphysics of Doctor Strange. And um, I haven't actually added the playlist to that, but I will do. The second one I'm going to upload today is called the metaphysics of Doctor Strange, which I have uploaded to IGTV, um, which is very, very cool and dope because I want to have those... I want to have it basically on IGTV and on YouTube because I think it will really, really create awareness and really make you understand more in regards to when you read comic books, when you when you read novels, when you watch movies, anim animes, whatever it might be, you'll see the metaphysical principles that are basically within you that have been actually um, projected basically onto the screen and of course onto the comic books. With that being said, beautiful people, if you have enjoyed this video, if this video has brought you any type of value, give me a follow, hit the like button, hit the f uh, was it a thumbs button, like button, whatever it might be, smash the YouTube subscribe button. Um, what's the other one? Give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down. Can't remember. Anyway, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And question of the day, number one, what was your favorite basically um, TikTok video that I uploaded? Question number two, um, was this video helpful in any way? Please let me know. Drop your comments down below. If you hated it and you thought it was garbage, well, I, I don't care. Drop your comments down below. Let me know. Peace out. Oh, and uh, the next Doctor Strange video will be up later on today. The metaphysics of Doctor Strange. Peace. Yeah.